everyone, welcome back with the bat prototype on Minecraft vanilla tutorials. So today we are going to be covering other food that either you can eat by itself or have it mixed in in a recipe to create because it like half the food sources can't be eaten by itself. It needs to be like in a recipe to create something bigger. So first off, I actually want to show you how it is that you would need to prepare to grow things um, in a farm. Now some of the first things aren't in that setup, but I will show you anyways. So what you'll need is a hoe and a bucket of water or a natural water source next to it. So all you do is right click and you see you have a lovely little <laughs> tilled area to plant your seeds. Now it can grow without a water source however it'll take forever and a lot of times it doesn't fully grow and it it's kind of a pain so what you want to do is put in a water source and you can have this go out about That's about as far reaching as it generally goes, um, uh, two blocks out. So you can just put a little water source here or a line. A lot of people do end up putting like, oh, uh, like a whole thing of water as a line between two lanes of farmland. And that is how you plant and farm. <laughs> So let's get back to what we were doing. So some of these you can go to the um, food video uh, tutorial I did already and you can see where some of these are incorporated into other food. But we'll start with the, um, the cocoa bean. I am tongue tied today so I apologize. So all you need to use cocoa beans, to grow cocoa beans, is jungle wood. And here's an example right here of a fully grown cocoa bean. So all you do is hit it and you get cocoa. Um, and then you can just right click with the cocoa beans and it will then continue to grow. But it has to be jungle wood. Uh, it doesn't need to be a tree, it just has to have the wood. And there's three stages and you saw the last and here's the first stage and they don't really create light but they kind of give the illusion of light which is actually kind of neat um, if you want to decorate underground so all right now there are two things <laughs> here you can see um, just because they needed space to grow between each other um, I have them separated but mushrooms which can be in mushroom stew and whatnot you can find these tall tall <laughs> mushrooms um, on a mushroom island where there's mycelium or in I think it's, it's either a dark forest or a spruce forest or maybe both um, but one of those really thick forests you can find them and I'm pretty sure it's the dark oak forests. Now you can find the small ones, the small little mushrooms um, next to spruce trees in spruce forests. Um, uh, and then obviously these tall ones and these are pretty easy to break like this this is just punching without an, a sword or anything and if you have a silk touch this can actually be a really neat way of um, building a home because it's kind of got a different look to it than anything else uh, not so much the other mushroom but <laughs> And like I've mentioned before, you can make a mushroom soup with it and you get them off of mushrooms and so on. So the next one is sugar cane. And you can change, I'll show you really quick, sugar cane into sugar. But we're not gonna do that right now. <laughs> and you've probably seen sugar in a few of the uh, other recipes in an earlier tutorial. What you need to grow this, it's not like the tilled soil other than you absolutely need a water source so 
as you can see it grows up three high and I just knocked it down but I want to show you you cannot put it unless it's right next to a water source um, that's all you really need with sugarcane and obviously you can add it up again uh, but there's there's many uses for sugarcane which I'll go into in another tutorial such as making paper and that whole stuff and again with sugar but you need sand or dirt but stone won't work at least not that I've noticed in the last time I played now the other mushrooms same thing you can find those under actually something I didn't mention you can also find these underground um, in caves and uh, again you can use it in a mushroom uh, stew or whatever it's called um, this one's not as neat if you wanted to still touch it but again you can make them grow very very big and break them very easily uh, and it'll produce many many mushrooms <laughs> uh, once you hit the top parts um, but yeah one thing to grow these either in a dark spot with bone meal or uh, if you want them to spawn multiple uh, mushrooms uh, you can you'll need a dark area with no light whatsoever and they'll kind of spawn more <laughs> and these can be put on stone so now to some of the more interesting <laughs> food sources the pumpkin now you can put the pumpkin into a crafting table or whatnot and you'll get four pumpkin seeds now as you can see that's what the pumpkin seed looks like here's a pumpkin seed planted and this is the pumpkin itself now you when you uh, use bone meal you can grow it up to this but it won't automatically um, put the pumpkin out there that has to go on its own time frame um, I will say you absolutely need to have an empty spot that's not tilled for it to uh, spawn it's not going to spawn on water <laughs> it's not going to spawn on other tilled area so, oh, I accidentally broke that oh well um, but that and melons both um, grow the same way but they do again still need a water source they need tilled dirt for the seed to be planted I'm not sure where that seed went oh well now this one I like is melon and then the melon seeds and let's see how many melons are created unlike the pumpkin it only creates one so it's a little less uh, forgiving if you break them this seed is growing a little bit more than the pumpkin seed was and again if you break this it won't stay as a melon block it will break up into the melon let's see I think nope I think you need to put a um, to create what I had right here you need to have used the entire area of a crafting table uh, but you can rebuild a melon and again you need a water source you need tilled and you need a space for it to grow um, I wouldn't recommend um, say for example planting it here and then having an area for it to grow right here because if say both of these are grown tall and there's a melon right here uh, <laughs> uh, they'll both attach to it and then it won't grow a second one so just planting the seeds like this and then leaving an area right here makes it much more usable now onto the carrots which I have covered before uh, this does not come in seed form all you do is see it comes out full do that and this is the full ver full version of the carrot and it'll drop multiple again you need a water source and tilled soil that is all you need from there now with potatoes again same thing as carrots it is what it is it doesn't have seeds um, you just get a potato and you right click plant it there you go and that's a full grown that spooked me um 
that's what the potatoes look full grown. Now on to the beetroot. This absolutely does have, apparently I'm getting emails, uh, a seed. And so take the full beetroot and it won't give you seeds. <laughs> uh, it will get, give you uh, rose red. So be mindful of those seeds. So when you do break, let's at least lighten it up. Really? Uh, please hold. Well, that's not going to work. So um, when you break beetroot, you then uh, will get a uh, beetroot seed to drop and you cannot plant the beetroot itself. So now on to wheat, which does definitely grow uh, as an individual thing and cannot be eaten by itself. And the regular seeds, which you can break grass to get an abundance of these seeds. Um, that one's kind of in mid growth, almost done. This is finalized, so you break it and you get your seeds and you get your wheat. And you just replant the seeds and go again. Again, it needs a water source to really grow. Um, I will say <laughs> pretty much other than the sugar cane, everything else can grow by itself without water. But like I said, it, it would take forever <laughs> for it to go. Um, and now the one last thing is another wart, which you need to have soul sand to plant it. This is something that only grows in the dark. It's not fully grown, but uh, <laughs> I tried to see if bone meal worked and I should know better, it doesn't. So it looks like that when you plant it and when it's fully grown, it'll produce multiple nether wart. Um, and this is something you use in in your brewing stand, which uh, that will be covered at a later date. So that kind of covers, <laughs> this is so unnecessary, <laughs> that covers the um, how to grow your plants and what plants can be um, farmed and how to do it. If you guys have any more questions on it, let me know and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.